guys, welcome to Nerdport of the show where we teleport you guys into the world of pop culture and current events. We are here with Jackie Davis. And I'm Sierra Cavallera. She Break. Got, she's not dead anymore. I'm not dead anymore. Jackie, you were, she was amazing. And she used her witch powers to resurrect me, much like the witches did for Michael Myers. And unfortunately, much like Pushing Daisies, someone had to die and Brayden did. Yeah. He'll get better. Eventually. Maybe. Maybe. But yes. speaking of resurrecting, let's Ooh. talk about Doctor Who. Yeah. We have a new doctor. and. We actually watched a couple of the new episodes together, mm -hmm. which um, I need to catch up a little bit. It's okay. I it's haven't fine. watched any more. But I since had a you taste of it, and I absolutely love it's Jodie. So good! I love her so much. I love her so much. She's like, she's she's she's. I just want to hug her. She's she so should be protected good. at all costs. She's so good, and like I'm so. Happy because Stephen Moffat almost totally killed Doctor Who for me. I have so yeah. many opinions about him. He's like so smug about being clever. All of his characters are like that. And his women, he writes them as women, not as people. And so they're all obnoxious, except for Bill. I Bill was like great. Last five episodes of Bill, and I loved her. I absolutely Which loved sucks Bill. because it's like. She dies her, or spoiler well, alert, kind of ish. She, it's, we, you know, it's, it's not complicated. Who, the dying death is weird. It's always because it's. I mean, it's. It's Doctor, it's doctor it's Who. Doctor who. It's, it's Doctor Who. who. It, it's, it's Doctor, doctor Who. who. Um. So, uh, <laughs> death is never really. It's it's always an interesting concept when it yeah. comes to Doctor Who because yeah. first of all, you have the Doctor Who can like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. come back. Yeah. Um, but okay, let, let, let's focus in on Jodie as a doctor. First of oh, all, she's the shortest, at least well, in recent memory. In, in modern for, for the new for the, for the new one, yeah, I not think, the old one. We're talking about just the new one. I ones. think I think a lot um, of the more Sylvester McCoy. Sylvester McCoy may be shorter probably than shorter. her. Maybe but he was not, a short man. But like she references it too. She's yeah. like, oh, I remember I had much longer legs. Yeah, yeah. These legs definitely used to be longer because like all of the other doctors were like over six feet tall. Yeah. And she's like five four. And yeah. you could tell her first costume was still Peter Capaldi's. Yeah, like, yeah, suit, yeah. So it was like really. And big so she on was her. just like swimming in it. Yeah, yeah. It was it was fantastic. And I love her faces. She's like she's she's I have to tell you, she's everything I wanted. Like when I was a little girl pretending yeah. to be the, a female doctor, she was like, she's That's like really exactly cute. bang on, bang, bang on. And then I also really love her companions. Like, Me I too. Love they're, they're just like, they're, first of all, they're normal people. Yes. You know, they're not like super extraordinary. Yeah. They're not like the girl who waited or uh, what whatever was it was one? that Clara was. Clara. Or whatever. They have to be like special in order to be the doctor's companions. But these are just like normal people, like a retired bus driver and a cop and a dude with a yeah. YouTube channel. A dude with a YouTube channel, <laughs> yeah. And but dyspraxia. I've seen dyspraxia. so many people, like, that's not even a thing I knew existed. Mm -hmm. And so, like, afterwards, I saw so many people who were like, oh my God, I've never seen somebody, like, with my issue be like portrayed to somebody who gets to go on adventures yeah. and stuff. And he like he like climbs the ladder. He anyway. climbs the ladder. And he does the stuff and, and he I'm does so proud of it. He hates ladders. He, but does. he climbs in and, and he then does it. <laughs> okay, spoiler, but he tr he tries to learn how to ride a bike for his mom. No, it's Nan. No, it's Nan, yeah. yeah. Side note, every single time I hear somebody call their grandmother Nan, I feel a little bit robbed. Because my English grandmother is grandmama. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, so I wanted, I wanted Nan. a Nan. Oh, I want to call her Nan, but she won't let me. But anyways. Call her it just to yourself. Like, yeah. okay, Nan. Okay, and then Nan. And she'd be like, what? Like, yeah, like, Who's that? Kidding, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. And, and like, yeah, anyways, I just... I just, it's I it's it. fantastic. I love him. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm excited to see what else uh, she brings to the table uh, as far as like a new doctor goes. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, the thing I love about this new season that mm -hmm. I noticed and the first thing that I pointed out to you was that they actually showed what the screwdriver, the sonic screwdriver, is yeah. capable of. Yeah. Because like, the last couple of seasons, I was like, what is it? What does it do? Yeah, exactly. It, it was kind of vague. And yeah. like, he pointed. Yeah. And I was like, cool. Yeah. You did something. Yeah. I also like, because, like, 
with and Moffat. She built her own. Right? I, I also love that, like, she, because with Moffat's doctors, like, let me go on the record here and say that I absolutely adore Matt Smith and Same. Peter Capaldi, Same. as well as all of the other actors involved. Same. Like, they were fabulous. The things that, that like, made me stop watching Doctor Who was the writing, because it was just so obnoxious. Um, <laughs> directly directed at you, Moffat. <laughs> yeah. Went there. Anyway, Popner TV co-host Jackie <laughs> Davis starts a fight. I've been <laughs> waiting for him to get away from the things I love for so long. Um, but I love that, like, <laughs> she's because his doctors, they were all like, "I'm going to sit here and spend five minutes and explain how clever I am before I actually do anything clever," mm. which was obnoxious. All right, but, so yeah. let's, um, besides <laughs> Doctor Who, which we can get Jackie heated on Moffat, but let's go into musicals, because both Ooh. you and I are huge musical fans, and yes. that's pretty much how we became best friends, yes. is bonding over musicals. Yes. Um, oh my gosh, like, like Sweeney Todd, so many, yeah, Heathers, yeah. all of it. And there's so many, like, I love how, like, so many of things that were, like, 80s, 70s, sort of cult mm -hmm. classics are turning into musicals like the heathers i love the heathers it's so good i was i was literally in my car a few days ago <laughs> trying to remember because i was trying to learn all the songs from heathers and one specifically was sung by veronica but i can't sing some of the lyrics because they're too dirty oh oh, oh i know yeah. when you're talking about i love i love the reprise though when Me she's too. just like because the because it's like it's so like I don't give a shakrap anymore. Yeah. I'm gonna do what I gotta do and to wash out everybody in the oh. way. Oh, what is the song called? Wash it. I'm a dead girl walking. Oh. I'm a dead girl, girl walking. walking. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, I uh, <laughs> took the time to learn that song. Oh, now yeah. I have it in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I also I really love <laughs> I love candy stores so much. Me. Like, because it's like, it's so... It's so sassy. Like, we God. know that, that Heather... Um, um, Heather. No, red one. The, yeah, the red the one. The red Heather. I can't... It starts with a C. It's her last oh, name. Oh, we're the worst. I keep coming up with, like, Chamberlain, and that's not right. That is incorrect. Heather. Heather. Something. <laughs> I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube, and, and you're then gonna remember... And you're going to correct it. Yeah. 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 Anyways. But anyway. <clears throat> yeah. um, but, but, like, it's so, like, she... I mean, she's got the least amount of time really yeah she of, does just about but everybody but she has one of the best on, songs she has, she does and it's like it's such a good song for like making you like go like oh yeah she's a horrible person yeah she's <laughs> but it's she's not fun great. yeah she, but she's fun yeah, yeah i really love that song yeah and i i been actually didn't i think did a um didn't community theater mm -hmm. did a um rendition of Heather's on stage mm -hmm. yeah, quite yeah. recently. I, I almost auditioned for that, but then yeah. I realized I live out of town. Yeah. Can't I didn't do the live, rehearsals. I only just like moved up here too. And so like, I was kind of upset that I didn't oh. get to do it. You would have been great. Oh my gosh. You would have be a great red Heather. Thank you. No. I could die. Yeah. <laughs> you have the hair for yeah. her and like, yeah. but you'd look great in a scrunchie. Oh, thank you. You would kill it. Thank oh you. my gosh. You, is Heather and me as Veronica. Yep. Imagine it. Yeah. Height Cast difference. Them. Photoshop it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's one that we recently bonded over. I'm, I'm still getting more in, like familiar with more of the newer musicals that are happening. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's a ton of um, renditions of um, classic like '80s films, like especially mm -hmm. horror films, like mm -hmm. yeah, the Evil Dead musical. I mean, that's been around a little while, yeah. but yeah. they're starting to get even more. There was one I heard about recently, and if I remember it, I'll let, let you know, future Jackie know what it yeah. is. But it's being adapted into a musical, and I'm so stoked. I okay, waitress, wait, waitress. Like that's, that's one of that's one movie that me and Jackie watch pretty much all the time. Yeah. and cry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know why we like put ourselves so, through this. It's such a like fun movie because like it's it's about a woman who gets pregnant from her abusive husband, and it's a comedy. Like how did that happen? It's really funny. Yeah, yeah. and then but, I mean, obviously the serious parts they take it seriously. Like I'm not. Gonna yeah, if but you like, haven't seen it. But but like, oh my god, her friends awesome. are the best. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> hey, girl, we were just talking, talking about, about how, yeah. how you have really great hair. hair. Good for, for you. you. 
Good for you. <laughs> Remember, the, this one's all up oh. in here, Maine. This one's all the way down Texas. <laughs> no, Florida. Florida. That's Florida. what it was. Like, this one's yeah. all the way down Florida. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah. I love Talking them. about her. I love them. Female anatomy. Anyways, anyway. I love them a lot. Me too. And so, and so Sarah Bareilles, who's like also one of my favorite songwriters, is like wrote the songs and like all of it's so good and like, oh, and it's she keeps. It's so fun. Yeah. She did perform on stage as you mm -hmm. know as the character for a um, for a stint. I hope she comes back. Yeah. That'd be really. Oh, to yeah. see her. I want them. Okay, so can we talk about for just a quick little second? Just a second. Just a quick little second. A quick, a quick uh, second. <laughs> um, the fact that we really want like, can we please get actual like professional recordings of these Broadway shows? Please. Because not everybody please. lives in. New York and we would like to see these things and you know we would not have to watch it illegally if there was a legally option that was not yeah, spending thousands of dollars. Did you just dollars. admit that you watched them illegally Jackie? No, never. We never <laughs> she didn't not. But I but, mean an option that doesn't require spending thousands of dollars exactly. to get a plane ticket exactly. and then also get the the actual ticket and then a hotel room and then all of those other things because it's like it's ridiculous. Like you can't just like go out for a weekend or something no. and go see a musical. You, yeah. Or wait for it wait for it to maybe come to a city near you for the traveling shows. But even then, like if I like the even if I have it on video, like going to see the musical live is a whole different it's, okay. it's a way better experience. Yeah. But, um, you know, also they have um, Star Kid, Team Star Kid did uh, the guy who didn't like musicals, the musical. Yeah. And I don't know when they're going to put it, like, on, the, on their page so mm -hmm. you can watch it, but hopefully soon because it looks really funny. And Star Kid is, like, their own different subject. I love yeah. them so much. But let us know in the <laughs> comments below what your favorite musical is. It could be a past musical, musical, or it could be one that's going on now or mm -hmm. one that's gonna, that you're excited for in the future. Let us yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, we were also wanted to talk about um, shows that we feel like we're gone too soon, that we want to see again. Because, because we've been together... Uh, we've been rewatching Pushing Daisies. Yep, that one needs we to come back. Which we love so much. It's so, it's so good. It's so good. And even um, uh, what's his face? That the 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 producer of it, the yeah, same guy who he, happened to produce yeah. Hannibal, which is yeah, like, which is like if you've seen Pushing Daisies and then you watch Hannibal, <laughs> like they're very different shows. The juxtaposition there. Yeah, as well. and but like, well, I mean, it does deal a lot with death. I mean, it's just there's that a one lot is of a lot of pastels. Yeah, <laughs> it's just brightly colored. Is all. Yeah. Yeah. Pastels. Yeah. But like, why did they? Well, there are also, there's like, it's one of those shows that I think, if I'm not mistaken, was like sort of taken out because of the writer strike in like it, it did come. It did come out at a very unfortunate time. Yeah. Of like yeah. a lot of like transition and like things yeah. happening. Which um, is such a, such a shame because it's like such a like, like hopeful show. I mean, it ta yeah. it's about necromancy, but it's like. As we said, Pretty Colors and Kristen Chenoweth breaks out into song every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's very good. Why did it and, have to end? Right. And then, and then, like, there are so many shows. Like, we there's were... so many. We were talking before, like, they can't... I mean, Lucifer's, like, Lucifer, it's been they saved. canceled. We saved Lucifer. Good job, everybody. Your tweets were wonderful. Good job. They also saved uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, um, however, there were shows that were not saved, uh, but, yeah. and like people keep wanting them to come back, much like Firefly. They keep yeah. wanting to. Yeah, and, and there's like all Dirk, these rumors. We also like, lost Ooh. Dirk Gently we this year, which is Dirk a shame Gently, because it was so funny. It was so good. Like it's you showed like, me the bridge. <laughs> oh my God, the bridge scene. Have you still not watched it? Oh I God. Seen the whole thing, but the bridge the, scene. Made me I like, burned your, your house, house down. down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> dog. They're like, we're not really going to throw the dog. I just want to scare him until I yeah. think we are. And then you throw the dog off the bridge. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> you have to watch it. Like, we can't do it justice just sitting here quoting no. it. But well, let us know in the comments below if there is a show that you want to come back or if there's a show you think just ended too soon or thinks needs a... You know, or maybe a, a prequel. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be, be true. That'd be true. But yeah. Also, hmm, Jackie, that's a really nice uh, shirt you got there. Thank can you. you. Can you tell the audience where you got that beautiful I shirt? I bought it at tittiespring.com/stores/partnertv. 
teespring.com slash stores slash pop nerd TV. She it was, was a great price and made of great material. You're good. Hey, Jackie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember any of the past couple of seconds? What? Good. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. It's working really well. I like the new programming. It's great. Um, but yeah, uh, love your shirt. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 oh, we gotta go. Thank you so much for watching Nerd Portal. She's short circuiting. Uh, I gotta take care of this. Till next week. Bye, guys. What a good segment. <laughs> You do the intro. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Nerd Portal, the show where we bring you into the world of portals. <laughs> I forgot, I mixed it with jump We got scan. lost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we teleport you. you. There you go. Okay. Oh, okay. Three, Three two, one.